All right, well, I'm uh, excited we got the win. It was, uh, you know, obviously it was a hard, hard fought game and a real battle out there. And um, I think it was great for us. I think we're going to get a lot out of it. You know, hats off to Cal State Fullerton. You know, we knew coming into this game that it was, or I did, I mean, I don't know what everyone else thought, but they, uh, you know, have returning multiple starters, two guys, two guards that you, know, you see some of the stuff that they did out there was, um, you know, at times uh, unguardable for us, just the, di the degree of difficulty on their pull-up shots and, you know, the plays that they made, you know, both Allman and, and Ahmad are, you know, high-end players and uh, they could play really any anywhere. Um, so it was. I thought it was great the way we battled. We had a lot of adversity. There's a lot of things to clean up and get better at. But proud of the way the guys figured out a way to to stay in the fight and, and get a victory. I know you were disappointed with the exhibition game last week. Have you seen progression from the exhibition game until tonight? I thought our defense in the first half was, was solid. And, you know, our offense didn't help matters uh, in, in the first half. And, uh, but again, I attribute some of that to just the first game and, and jitters and. Even for the transfers, sitting out and, and you know, young guys as freshmen and other guys coming off injuries where they've had almost no time to practice, like Remy, Remy's practice. He was he was in half of our practice two days ago. He was given a full go, you know, yesterday, and, and he's in after missing over three weeks. So he's uh, he's going to get back and, and he's going to make a lot of progress, and you know, his role will, will continue to grow. But uh, you know, defensively, some of the issues were were them making plays and being playmakers. And I thought our transition defense in the second half wasn't as strong as it was in the first half. But though we defended well in the first half. What about uh, Remy's ability to kind of gut it out then and, and make some plays in the overtime? Yeah, I mean, he he did a great thing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the end of uh, it was the end of the first overtime with with Allman where he. He, he, he gapped very well and helped and, and forced him to, to make a pass. And then, and then they had a guy that, that wasn't the guy that I'm sure they wanted to take the last shot to, to end it. And uh, so Remy did that. And, you know, he's playing basically at like 60% of, of who he is physically. And, you know, he could make a big jump out of this, and, and out of this game. Uh, and his role will continue to, to grow, like I said earlier. Logan said. Lugan said he was a little nervous for his first college game. How much did you see the nerves kind of wear off as the game went along for him? Yeah, I mean, you just see his, his physical talent and, and his, uh, his shiftiness off the dribble, and then he's a finisher, and, you know, he's a great rebounder, too. The, his offensive rebound put back was one of, one of the bigger plays of the game. And I just like that multiple guys did that, you know, multiple guys. Rob Edwards stepping the line, making two big free throws. Um, you know, Kamani on, on the on the missed uh, free throw rebound and then getting fouled. There were a lot of you know plays like that um, that happened that were the difference uh, of winning and losing. It seemed like Kamani in the first half too, and he got off to a good start looking for a shot. What did you see from him in the first half that kind of helps set the tempo offensively? Yeah, we were struggling early to score, and and you know I'm watching the first five minutes, and we're not putting any points on the board. We're getting. You know, offensive rebounds. I think that was a real strength of ours tonight, the way we uh, offensive rebounded. But we just weren't converting, you know, shots in the paint that I think we will as we get more relaxed and, and just settle into, you know, playing more games. And, uh, but Kamani hit a big three in transition, actually back to back, and those were helpful. But he just played, you know, just an overall very solid game for us. Your take on Lou for his first game, what he did today in his first college game? Yeah, he's got such a, you know, He's so poised, presence, mature for for uh, for a freshman, and and he's very very gifted. You know, it's uh, there's in a ball screen, he's he's very hard to deal with uh, when he gets downhill and and uh, gets to that back line. You know, you see he could really elevate uh, and, and finish. And you know, I guess that was the highest point total of any freshman in, in the history of the school. So he obviously put out a strong <laughs> first impression here. Talked about in the scrimmage too about closing out the three point line better. It seemed like I mean they did hit some longer threes, but overall they just the more you got out there, the more they struggled. And I guess happy with the way you guys closed out the three point line. Yeah, we did. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job, and then they they made some tough ones, you know, hand in the face. And that they're good players, you know, both those guys. Um, we lost them off the bounce a little bit too often. You know, we just uh, things that we gotta gotta fix, you know, so that we. Uh, 
keep the ball out of the lane. When they got to the paint, they, we, we were in trouble. Um, and they got to the free throw line quite a bit in one stretch. Lou had uh, zero there at the end of re regulation and then a lot of time in the overtime. Is that something we can look forward to him matching up against? Yeah, I mean, we talked about, like, he's got um, a desire, a strong desire to play defense, and, and he takes it personal, and he's got the, you know, the, the wingspan, the strength, and lateral foot quickness to be a very good defender, uh, individual defender. and. I mean, now you saw him wall up the one time in the open transition, and I know the whistle didn't go his way, but he was like way up. You know, he, that's what he could do as a guard. He could come in weak side and, and, and make it a play on on a, on a drive to the basket. What nice did you see from your bigs tonight that encouraged you going forward? Thought Lake did very well with his minutes early, and then you know he had a couple of, you know of illegal screens go against him. Um, and I think a goaltend that, that he should probably let go. Um, so a few of those things. I thought Mello, um, his ball screen defense was, was outstanding for the most part. And, you know, he's, uh, he had a very solid game for, for what we uh, would hope from him. Kamani said that on the missed free throw, re the rebound he got when you guys were down, I think by four at the end of the game, did you guys practice that? Do you, do you practice that a lot? Well, we've been, we've been doing some, some uh, some free throw blockouts and, and uh, you know, I, I don't think that we're going to miss that many foul shots. Or I hope we don't. Uh, and, and that's <laughs> something we have to do better at. But but we wanted to practice that and we work on it and in one of our drills so we could get into three quarter court pressure with all their guards. They they played a lot of small lineups and I we didn't feel like pressing them was was the right thing to do. But we. We do incorporate like free free throw rebounding. Kamani did a good job of, of uh, following through on that. In your experience, how much better do you get just having one game on tape from the first game to the second game? I, I think that you know, these guys will will get a lot out of it. Like I said, we will get to watch it and and make some adjustments and just getting a game under their belt for for the guys that sat out and and the freshmen. It's uh, you know, the next time we hit the floor, I think we'll, you know, we'll make some improvements. Thank you, guys.